So basically I do a switch video tutorial but today video is a bit different where I use a PlayStation Vita to make a video content. So today video I'm going to teach you guys on how to install Hankaku on a PlayStation Vita in 2021. So if you guys have bought a Vita it comes with a firmware lower than 3.6.0. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to update your PlayStation Vita to a latest firmware uh, which is 3.73. So as you guys can see that my system software is 3.57 I never update my PlayStation Vita so right now uh, what I wanted to do is I want you guys to update your PlayStation Vita first before you guys can install the Hankaku So make sure you guys agree everything that the system update have told you guys before you guys start up to update the PlayStation Vita so it will take around 5 or 4 minutes. So if you guys have successfully updated your PlayStation Vita, so now when you guys go to the uh, system and check the system information, and now you guys on the 3.73, now you guys need to set up some things first on your PC, so now let's go to our PC. So here are all the files that we need to get on our PC, so I will leave all this stuff uh, links in the description box, so make sure you guys check the links. Uh, on the description box to get all these files which I show you guys right now now as you guys can see um, here we have the CMA setups the second one we need to get is the QCMA driver uh, which is the PlayStation Vita driver and here we have the Final HE which is the Hankaku itself okay so now what I want to do here you need to create a new folder so you can also uh, put it anywhere you like on your PC so this is just an example I will just show you guys um, which I will extract it onto my desktop here now go ahead and create a new folder and then rename this one as Hankaku now go ahead and extract the final HE to the Hankaku folder that we created just now all right so now once that is done we may delete the final HE zip files Okay, so now uh, let's install the QC. Let's install the CMA setup first. Now go ahead and hit next, and now it starts to install the Content Manager Assistance uh, for PlayStation Vita. All right, so since I already have installed it on my PC, now as you guys can see, it starts. Uh, it asks whether I want to close the uh, content manager assistant alright so now when that is done we, when you guys go to your uh, PC which is the icon here you will find the content manager, manager assistant okay so now go ahead and double click the QCMA driver to install the PlayStation Vita driver on our PC now click next and then click finish so that will take around um, 4 seconds in order to install the QCMA driver so now let's go back to our PlayStation Vita. Now on our PlayStation Vita, we need to link our PlayStation Network on our PlayStation Vita. As you guys can see, I already have linked my um, PlayStation Network account on my PlayStation Vita here. As you guys can see. So if you guys don't have any of the PlayStation Network account, you need to create one in order to use Content Manager uh, on our PlayStation Vita. So now what we need to do here, we need to open up the Hankaku folder. Now you guys can see there's the final he dot uh, exe. Now go ahead and execute the final he dot exe. Right, so you guys can see there's the window defender firewall uh, will pops up. Now go ahead and click to allow access. Okay, so this is the final hand core. So you guys can see right here. And now uh, we need to connect our PlayStation Vita to our PC. 
Okay, so now I will connect my uh, USB, uh, which is my PlayStation Vita USB, and then connect it to my PC here. All right, so now once we have connect our PlayStation Vita to our PC, now go ahead and execute Content Manager on our PlayStation Vita. Now go ahead and tap to the copy content as you guys can see on the uh, second option there. So now what you want to do here, you need to go to uh, tap to PC and then select USB cable. Alright, so if it fails, you need to uh, adjust your switch cable in order to connect uh, to let our PC detect the PlayStation Vita itself. So now as you can see now I can connect my PlayStation Vita to my PC and on the final hash and call you guys can see it tell that connected to the PlayStation Vita. So now what we want to do here you need to hit let's go on the final hand call menu. Now it's showing you guys it starts downloading some of the package files and then we can install the hand call after this here so we need to wait uh, to let it finish downloading the on the hand call here. Alright so now um, all right, so now it's finished so it tells you guys uh, everything is ready in the follow below steps on your PlayStation Vita. Now we need to uh, select PC to PlayStation Vita system and you guys can see it only here tap to it and then tap to applications and you guys uh, need to select PlayStation Vita on the very first uh, section here and you guys will find there's the hash and call uh, you need to install it to your PlayStation Vita first so that you guys can install the Hankaku custom firmware uh, right after you guys install the uh, hash and call so now I go ahead and select the hash and call and then uh, select copy. So now it starts to install the hash and call uh, 2 on our PlayStation Vita. So this may really, really take a long uh, time to let it finish installing of our PlayStation Vita. Alright, so now once that is finished, we may close the content manager. And when you guys go scroll down, you guys can see this dancing icon for the hash and call too. Now go ahead and tap to it. Alright, so at here, uh, before you guys launch the hash and call too, we need to press and hold down the right trigger button. Alright. So now uh, I'm still holding the right trigger button here and then what you need to do here is you need to launch the hash and go while holding the right trigger. Alright, so now I'll ask you guys, uh, you cannot earn trophies in this application, just go ahead and tap yes while holding the right trigger. So now it will open up the uh, Hankaku uh, bootstrap, uh, sorry the Hanko bootstrap so you guys can see here. So now we need to select install Hankaku. Alright, now after you guys install Hankaku, the next thing you need to install is the Vita Shell. Just go ahead and tap to uh, download Vita Shell. So now we start to download the Vita Shell onto our uh, PlayStation Vita. Alright, so once that is finished, go ahead and hit exit. So now it will uh, go back to the home screen, and there you guys can, uh, and there you guys will have the Vita shell. So this Vita shell is where you guys can install of the package and some of the uh, VPK file as well. 
Alright, so before you guys can install it, you guys need to tap to the settings and then go to the hand cackle settings and you guys need to enable unsafe homebrew in order to install of the uh, vpk files so now you guys can start to install some of the games that you like and you guys also can install some of the uh, emulator or any of the uh, homebrew that you can uh, that you can use to install it with the uh, vita shells Alright, so that's all for this video. If you guys think that this video is useful and helpful, please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more PlayStation Vita uh, tutorial video. So I'll see you guys on the next one.